Hello and welcome back guys. So today we will be unboxing an important parts of a computer that is a power supply unit PSU which supplies powers in the whole system of a computer and today we will be unboxing the Deepcool DQ750M V2L a fully modular 750W PSU and also we will point out the main difference between a modular and a non-modular PSU. So let's get started with the video. I have ordered this PSU from Amazon for around 7100 rupees and here is how it came back in with just the box and a plastic wrap. And I have always complained about the packaging done by Amazon. At least this should include another layer of cardboard box. Shipping with only the product box is highly risky. So please Amazon improve your packaging. Well let's further proceed with the unboxing. And here we have the invoice and the exact price mentioned as 7178 rupees. And we'll cut the ultra protection film provided by Amazon. And this is how the actual box looks like and seems like beaten up a bit but continuing with the unboxing here is the deep cool branding and the DQ750M V2L printed with some features like 100% Japanese capacitor SLI crossfire support 750W black flat cables and also some specs on the site you can pause and read it for yourself On opening, first we have this user manual which is thick and also the warranty card. Further we have a small bag or pouch which houses all the cables which we will need to attach with the PSU by ourselves. We have got the 24 pin power cable for the motherboard, cables for CPU, for PCIe, and some SATA and Molex cables. The added separate back for cables is a nice touch by Deepcool. Further in the box, we got some zip ties and screw and the power cable plug for the PSU. And the final content in this pouch should have the PSU itself. Hopefully, it is not damaged or there's some dents. And it seems fine. I can't find any physical damage or dents. The PSU is looking good in this green accent and the large fan grills. You can also see the 80 plus gold rating and the 10 years warranty written in the body itself. On the back, you can see the ports for the cable. All are mentioned as per the cable and your needs. I will show you the installation in the later part of the video. And so yeah, these are all the box contents of the Deepcool DQ750M V2L. Thankfully, there is no damage done during shipping. Deepcool has done good with their part of packaging. And till now, you might have seen that this PSU have not attached cable with it. It's because it is a fully modular PSU. You can choose which cables you need according to your requirement and save some space in your cabinet. Here is a comparison with my old PSU which has all the cables attached and looks messy. Which you can choose uh, which cable you need and the extra cables takes lots of space in the cabinet. Apart from that, if somehow one of your cable is damaged, you can easily replace in the modular PSU by getting a different cable but in case of normal PSU, you can't do that. You need to take it to a repair shop or just get a new one. And that's all are the main difference between a modular and a non-modular normal PSU. The internal components of a PSU can remain the same depending on the models and the brands. Most of the popular brands make good PSU like a PSU from Corsair, Cooler Master, Deepcool etc. The functionality almost remains the same. 
Now coming back to the DQ750M V2L, I will show you how the cables are connected with the PSU. Choose the cable you need like the 24 pin cable which will be thicker like this. And other needed cables like for the CPU, the PCIe cable for your graphics card and SATA and Molex for storage and all. And simply plugging it in the given slot with the name clearly written. You will hear or feel a slight click when the cable is all the way in. Though some plug or cable need a bit pressure to sit perfectly in its place. And after that, you can now simply install it in your cabinet like a normal PSU. And that's all for today guys. I hope this video was helpful for some of you and if you have any query, leave a comment. And also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Stay safe.